What's up everybody? Welcome to Cax Gaming for another episode of TH13 Warbase and TH13 Legend League Bases. For secret bases from the top players in the world, check my channel membership out now. If you're new to the channel, I test here different TH13 base layouts in the Legend League against the best players in the world. If you enjoy from my reviews and you want to see daily Clash of Clans videos, subscribe now to the channel and let's begin with today's battle log for the base. It's an amazing base I think. More suitable for wars other than the Legend League cause most of them are attacking with Yetis. Kinda hard but at least nobody restarted it. Let's start with those replays. This is the first replay and this is the base. It's an anti 2 star design. Starting from the left corner with one golem, two ice and the yetis. One yeti, I think he got lost. Look at him, where is he going? Pretty much did now. okay he took the archer tower so okay. And they are going straight towards the middle. Another earth four earthquake spells. Looking good, looking good, but no one is attacking the town hall. Now the wizards are going for it. Maybe the P.E.K.K.A will take it. Grand Warden ability, look at those X-Bows. That firepower. So the P.E.K.K.A, okay. Took out the single Inferno. Easy takedown on the town hall, it's only a multi Inferno there. Now the scatter shot will finish them. They are next to the Eagle Artillery, but my Ice Golems are holding them back pretty good. And the Expos are just shredding them out one by one. They can't do anything there. And one Ice Golem survived, that's pretty good. Meantime, the Wizard uh, is stuck there in his cage, trying to get out over the wall will not succeed and it will be 68% 2 stars nicely done great base let's watch the next replay also 8 earthwork spells this time 10 yetis with 14 bowlers spreading them out all around the right side of the base behind the bowlers trying to put in the middle the heroes okay they went back Grand Warden ability way too early, it's only multi inferno and a scatter shot. No one is going towards the middle, oh. They are running to the sides, they went for the ice golems. That will be a problem, we might see a failure. Og riders are going in, using a rage there. Already lost the queen and the royal champion ability. Got only the king ability, but he's too far. Okay, I think it's a fail. Cleared everybody there. The town hall is empty around it. Grand Warden with the king, some yetis, and they are going around. Definitely can't take the town hall with this army comp. That left, of course. And the scatter shot will finish them using the king ability. So my scatter shot and my queen will finish them off. Also the multi inferno. Expo, Ziggle Artillery, pretty much everything. One star, 73%. What a fail. Unlucky there. They all went to the sides. And now for another replay. This time using Yetis, Bowlers, Pekkas. Pretty much the same. Using two jump spells. No earthquake spells this time. Starting with the Queen Walk from the left corner. Balloon for checking some mines. I don't know why but most of them are starting from the left corner with a queen walk. Not sure why this is the favorite place. Looks like the funnel will go towards the middle next to the double cannon, double barrel cannon. Looks like it if the queen is clearing all the left bottom side. I think he will deploy the king on the top side. Yeah, I'm seeing there the cannon. Siege Barracks there. If you do uh, this kind of attack, 
start with the king and then the siege barracks so the king can tank everything saving the pekka and the wizard first jump spell second jump spell i think it's on the edge can they go through it i'm not sure using a rage yeah they can easy takedown on the town hall using the grand warden ability right on time perfect timing freeze on this on the on what? On the x -bows. I think he wanted to do it on the scatter shot, but he missed. A misclick. Royal Champion will take out the scatter shot, deploying some wizards to clean up right corner. Taking a lot of damage there in the center. My ice golems are doing a great job. Royal Champion is gone. What is happening there? Eagle Artillery taking them all. Okay, one P.E.K.K.A left there. Wizard is gone, also the bowler. So only the P.E.K.K.A left. I don't think he can take everything. Let's see if he can break the wall. I don't think so. Eagle Artillery will finish him. Okay, took one. Oh, almost. 67%, two stars. Very nice. Now let's pick the next replay. Let's try find something with a different army comp maybe. I hope so at least. Something without the yetis. Okay, 6 super barbarians, 10 witches. Definitely a unique attack. Let's see how it goes. Like everybody else, starting with a grand warden walk on the left corner of the base. Get the help of one witch. Two witches. Early start with the royal champion. That's something new. Can't survive. Single inferno will finish him using the grand warden ability. That's a really weird attack on this base. I never saw something like that. Royal champion survived. So pretty much he will clean all the left side of the base with the, from the defenses. Another witch on the top corner. Now the Expo is starting to attack the Royal Champion. Scattershot will finish her. She can't survive it. Ice Golems are there. Still waiting with his troops. I really don't know what he's gonna do. Got the 5 Giants, 6 Super Barbarians. And he's still waiting. So we got the Wall Wrecker. Starting with him now. Wall Breakers behind. Completely to a different direction. Which they all died from the multi inferno. Now the giants behind. Where are the super barbarians? So we wanted to funnel only for the wall worker. So we can take out the town hall with the troops inside. Now deployed the rest of his army. Okay, that's definitely the weirdest attack I saw. Rage on the wall worker, bowlers, easy takedown on the town hall. Massive amount of witches. And where are the super barbarians? I think he used them to clean. Yeah. Super barbarians with the archers. Okay, got the two stars at least, so I think it's working for him. But definitely a weird approach. Multi Inferno take out all the witches there. Queen ability. She will take the royal champion most likely. Nope. Couldn't do it. Only the archers left. I would say it's a low percent, low overall damage. For this attack, I, I am pretty shocked. Did not expect 70%. But okay. It will be 71%, 2 stars. Great reply. De definitely a different army than the Yetis, so it's interesting. That was all for today. A great base, anti 2 stars base design for the Town Hall 13 War and Legend League base. The coupling will be in the description and in the first comment. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to like the video if you enjoyed. And I will see you on the next of Clash of Clans video. See ya!